Hello, my name is Manchu Garg and I'm from Delhi. So I'm someone who is really fond of sciences and non-academics. My interests include chess, table tennis and music. Uh, I think there are two major factors that contributed uh, to me changing and actually trying to focus on studies. Uh, one was uh, my sister. My sister that year was giving the NEET examination and uh, so uh, on the day of her NEET she, she fell slightly ill. So following that she couldn't give the NEET examination up to her full capabilities and so she came back home depressed and she had her AIMS examination as well one month later. So I felt bad for her. So in order to motivate her as a sibling, I, I also started studying more hard and actually started taking studies seriously so that she could get motivated that her little sibling is also now studying seeing her. What, uh, act, what actually pushed, like what actually transformed me into a good student uh, was one of my teachers in the in ninth class foundation course. So he saw the potential in me and he tried and he then following that elevated me to a better batch. Seeing that pressure and seeing that uh, uh, these are students who are so capable and I'm, uh, and I'm studying among them. So that motivated me to push further. So the first roadblock uh, that came uh, in my, during my JE preparation was the COVID pandemic itself. So yeah, in general, this, this pandemic and lockdown definitely pushed me back. During the month of January of 2021, uh, I, I got acute pancreatitis. So, and, that, and that was a serious issue. Uh, due to which I lost uh, like a lot of time during my preparation. So overcoming that was like my biggest hurdle, uh, like trying to study despite uh, despite the disease, and uh, and trying to overcome it. After like one or two months after uh, like going through this disease, uh, I basically realized that uh, uh, like whatever I'm going through right now, uh, either I can take a drop right now, or I can continue to struggle and still give my exam. Despite my doctors telling me that I should take a drop, I still decided to continue, uh, continue studying and going through that uh, I covered my backlogs and following that I managed to become someone who is proficient enough to score such ranks. My time at Akash is certainly one that I will remember for the rest of my life uh, because it has given me some like very beautiful memories uh, because like my ninth my 9th 10th period, uh, like my interaction with my teachers and how many friends I made and also my 11th 12th, the kind of discussion we used to ensue in class. Uh, I used to be the most talkative student in my class and uh, these were like some of the highlights, like, like whatever the moments we had in classes and due to this shift in online, uh, I don't want to say but like we also would make you know stickers and stuff like whatever is happening in class. So that, uh, that was definitely something I remember. And uh, at the same time, other highlights I would say during my this preparation was like what, what, all the mock tests and like you know what all the internal rivalry that that is there you know to compete and try to score the highest marks. So like yeah, that was a very good healthy competition we used to have. And uh, one thing that uh, like really helped me was uh, the idea of like uh, like being being adamant of completing backlogs. Like that that really helps that uh, you're adamant of like not trying to leave backlog or stuff that you're behind. So that is something I feel like really helps and also at the same time, you know, when you give a, when you give a test, uh, trying to analyze like what is, what are the kind of errors that you're making, like is it a, like a, is it a, a silly mistake or is it an error that, is it, a, is it a conceptual error and accepting that, okay, I did not know this concept and, you know, working around that, like being more proficient uh, in understanding that concept. Uh, there are a couple of things, you know, that I learned through my journey in these two years. Uh, one of the biggest lessons that I learned was that when when you want to achieve something or uh, like want something and uh, you know you are someone who is capable of doing it then you realize that a lot of external factors that we you know constantly sometimes blame you know like family environment or you know like time issues or you know not able to manage school uh, these these uh, I, I don't want to say like they are like excuses in the sense in a negative way but uh, they like these are something that can be managed that if one puts their back to it. So that is something I really learned. And secondly, that, you know, we sometimes create hype of a lot of things. Oh, like the J examination is very tough. And, you know, you're securing a rank in particular examination is very tough. But uh, it's actually like, when you realize that uh, like a lot of students are going through what you are going through, uh, the imposter syndrome simply goes away. And, and they're also facing the same things. So like every little improvement that you make, uh, uh, like it shows a really big effect. So that is why uh, it's, it's actually not like these examinations, you know, whatever you're trying to do, it's not actually not that hard uh, once, uh, once you realize that what you're capable of doing. Despite my setback, uh, I knew that uh, 
I'm someone who uh, d- deserves the rank which I have got and because of that it always motivated me and so that was something I knew nobody can take it away from me and that that determination I feel is the reason of my success.